All right. My name is Joe. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my Fusion 257 bag. This is the bag I love to use on a daily basis. I think this is a perfect size for my needs and that's why I get it. I actually, before I choose this bag, I actually choose between the 256, 257 and 258. I went into the San Francisco store and I look at it physically and I find that the 256 257 is the best for me um, and I'm gonna tell you why I mean before we go into that um, I just wanted to show you I've been using this bag for over five months now and it aged pretty well I would say um, you can see uh, the wax canvas start kind of aging now uh, I do put some dirt on it as you can see um, the bag is also aging pretty nicely um, I wear jeans on a daily basis, so you can see uh, I, you know, kind of put a lot of uh, denim mark on this, on the back right here. So this is what I carry on a daily basis, and I think this size is perfect. Um, people say 257 is a little bit uh, bulky, I do not think so. Uh, I carry it on a daily basis, I'm a, around uh, 6 feet tall, to me it's, uh, the size is really good. Uh, the main reason I buy this bag is because I can put my jacket in there. I love to shove my jacket in there when I feel like I don't need it, but I want to have it in case I need it. Uh, for my job, I sometimes have to travel uh, to to a city on a daily basis and, and come back at night. And so I go to San Francisco sometimes, for example, and without a jacket, I get chilly. So I really need a place that I can shove it in when I don't need it. And zip it up and that's it. So I love to have this bag with me everywhere I go. Uh, I carry my uh, coffee mug with me. Uh, it's small enough to fit in the size right here perfectly. If you want a link, I, I can actually include that and you can see exactly which coffee mug will fit into this bag. Uh, some of them are bigger and they just not gonna work. But this one worked perfectly. Initially it's a bit tight but after you use it for a period of time it will loosen up so I love it. And on the front I love to use it to put my uh, you know my tag for my luggage in case I lose it. People can contact me and get it. And then I have my headphone. And my cell phone, I also put it in here for easy access. And then I have this keychain here. Um, the, the original one is a little bit short, so I decided to put a little bit of extension here to make it easier to access. I just chuck it in and don't have to worry about, oh, oops, drop outside and just, it won't get lost, which is perfect. Um, that's for the front. Inside, there are two uh, compartments. For laptop, I only have I don't have one laptop carry with me. I don't I don't want it to be too heavy, so I only have one, um, and it fit perfectly. And be careful with the zipper. Uh, people mentioned already it, it will get caught to your laptop and kind of scratch it. But uh, just be careful. You know, put your hand like that and grab it. You'll never have problem. Um, and then for the front, I have a document pouch. Uh, if you go a bunch of document, don't want to lose it, get it organized. Get a pouch. Amazon. I don't know how much, $13, really cheap. Um, also have a battery pack in case I need that. Uh, and then there's a perfect compartment here, a small one for wallet. So I put my wallet here, it fit perfectly. So uh, some bag, you don't have this small compartment, you just put it there and then and in the diary you have to search for it, I hate that. So I always have a dedicated location for my wallet. Every time I need it, just take it out from here. I also carry my uh, vitamin, so that's my daily uh, vitamin D. I just have to put it into the little compartment here, and it's fit perfectly again. So I love that one. I don't know if 256 have that compartment. I never really looked into it. And then the battery uh, charger, uh, laptop charger, and the, the pen holder. I have a little plastic, uh, sorry, leather uh, pen holder with a few pens here. They say, hey, you got little pen, you know, spot here. Why don't you use it? Well, because I 
sometimes switch to a weekend bag and I want to carry my pants so I just put everything in the same spot carry in carry out and I don't like to put pants into here because in for example if you have a pan like this and somehow if you just you know careless and you will put the ink on it I don't like get my bag dirty that way so I decided to uh, put a pen holder easy for me so that will work uh, okay uh, my my badge for my office perfect spot right here so every morning I would just check my bag make sure my wallet vitamin the badge and my laptop and then I'm good to go and in the front I make sure I have my uh, my headphone my key and my cell phone and then with this seven item I'm usually good and I have installed a little bit of uh, LED light here as you can see people call me crazy but I feel like well if you need a light you don't have one it's a bummer but if you don't need it you know you sit here it's not gonna cost you any space right so I put one here I for my line of work, I work in the entertainment industry and sometimes I have to go to the studio and it get really dark when everybody turn off the light. So with a light in the bag, I'd be able to uh, look inside and see what I need. And I sometimes even, you know, search my web here, you know, uh, in the dark uh, so I can, you know, do a little bit work and it's not going to bother anybody with a little light like this. Okay, so I, I love it here. I just install it. Very simple, just a little bit uh, double-sided. Uh, Velcro and just you know stick it in. That's it. There's no magic to it. Yep. And you can see uh, the bottom of the bag and grab the stuff accordingly. Pretty cool. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Let's put the stuff back and you can see how it packed. The pan holder. The wallet. The. Uh, document I usually put it in the front compartment here my laptop uh, vitamin the uh, battery pouch and then the headphone my mouse there's a compartment good for mouse right here turn it off the uh, charger Well, as you can see, there's still, I would say, 40% empty. Put my jacket. I, I don't, I don't, you know, for it nicely, just shove it in. Here's a Patagonia jacket. You can get, you know, chilly out here. So I decided to put one there. I don't completely zip it up because I feel like it's a little, a little bit hassle to every time you have to open it and close it. So I just kind of leave it like that. Easy for me to get things that need it. And then my water bottle, you have to kind of put your zipper up a little bit, otherwise you cannot put the water bottle here, it will get, you know, in the way. Cool. With that, close the uh, button. Perfect. That's how I uh, deal with it every day. And then, and I put my notebook on the back. The reason I put it on the back because I you know, I love to take notes and make sure my planner is always with me. I don't feel like, you know, grabbing inside and out every single time I need it. So I just put it uh, on the back. If I need it, I just, you know, grab it, use it as my platform and open it and start working on it. And when I'm done, I have my pen here and just shove it back. Doesn't, you know, get any easier than that, I guess. Um, I love this bag. It does age well. Um, if you're looking at this video, you probably know already this uh, vegetable tan leather. It's not chrome tan. I do not buy any chrome tan product. I, I don't think it will age well and it doesn't look good over time. So to me, it's very important that it's a uh, vegetable tan leather. And this is it. Um, when I first got it, I, it's very stiff. Okay, it's very, uh, you know, stiff. <laughs> and over time, it's soften and now it's really soft and you can see um, it doesn't really wear any worse than anything else it's just kind of cool no problem with that uh, I have no problem with this bag at all um, the only complaint or concern I may have is that um, 
when you loaded your bag, you can see the weight distribution um, is a bit toward like that because this buckle here uh, is right in the middle, 50-50, right? It's right in the middle. So the weight distribution will be like uh, not even, not, not really leaning to, uh, downward. The force is like, you can swing around like that. So I wish if there's an improvement, you'll be putting this thing up a little bit. So it will be 60%, 40% or 65, 35. So it'll be more uh, even out the weight distribution. But it's really no big deal. I mean, right after you put the bag on, uh, it's gonna be uh, leaning toward your body. So it's no problem at all. Uh, so the uh, hardware is very, very reliable and heavy duty. I mean, that's why we love it. Like, I mean, I love this bag for what it is. Price wise, it's about 300 something, 345, I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't pay full price for it. I pay around 200. Uh, I buy new at a discounted price um, and it's around 200 with shipping is around 220 so to me it's a lovely price um, my kid already uh, started claiming my bag and said hey when you're gone I want it I'm like okay sure you can have it but I'm not gone yet so I'm gonna be continue using it uh, you can see after five months of use it's already start wearing in uh, worn in pretty well um, this is why I picked Fusion right because the older it gets the more the better it looks really I mean, I like things that age well um, and with characters, you know, that's the reason why I don't buy Lions and all the, you know, synthetic, you know, material because it doesn't age well to me. Uh, I like something that age really well and look cool, like Indiana Jones stuff or uh, something that, you know, go with you everywhere you go. As, as a result, you, you have a relationship or a, a lot of experience with it. So, you know, certain area darker because you put your hands there more often than the other you know you know oh, this scratcher oh, yeah i break it i break it in in you know so and so country you know it's just cooler so every time i go places i carry this bag uh pack all my stuff and i do get some compliment at work saying hey your bag is cool where you get it and then i start you know telling my story and i believe this bag will continue to be with me at work and uh for a long period of time I don't see a lot of uh, video in YouTube talking about this bag, so I decided to share my experience with it. I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask me. I do have other Fusion bags. I have uh, the rucksack and also the, uh, what is it called, medium field bag, the old version. Yeah, I probably will put up a video for that also because I feel like it's such a good bag, but people we, we don't have a lot of, you know, um, people praising it out there. I feel like they deserve it. They really deserve it. It's really nicely made in America, and I love it. Um, yeah, you can see. If you put on your jeans and walks a lot, it's going to accumulate a lot of marks in here, which is, like, perfect. Cool. Hope you like it. Any question, let me know. And this is my review. I hope you guys enjoy it.